What's the crack lads? We are back with just a quick video. We're going to be doing a training guys specifically to show you how exactly I trained up these guys. We did actually spin and get Mbappe, Donnarumma and Sakaria. We actually, I think we got it in about 100 packs. 100 spins I think we cleared this out. We got big donations from a lot of people on yesterday's stream. We played a lot of games. Special shout out to ABD, Ron and of course Lou and whoever else that did donate. Absolute legends. We got them all. We got it with 50 players left. I'll just hide my face cam here. And you can see that there's 50 players there uh, left, or 49, exactly. So we got Mbappe first, Donnarumma, and then Zakaria. Now, we're going to go straight in. I'm not going to overcomplicate this. I usually just do a review and then the training guides of how I'd show you. But we're actually going to show you a dedicated training guide versus a comparison. And we're going to start with Zakaria. So Zakaria is definitely probably one of the most interesting ones because he is definitely, I would say, more of the unique ones. He's a very, very unique card. I don't think we've seen a card this unique since right card. He's an anchorman, so he's probably going to have the best defensive capabilities as a midfielder, but he's also got 90 speed, 90 physical contact, 90 tackling, and 98 aggression with this build. Now, we are playing with Pep Guardiola to get the maximum uh, boost here, but he's just got everything you could possibly want from an anchorman. He's got the speed and the aggression of a destroyer. He's got the pace of a really, really good kind of box-to-box, -box, and he's got the passing ability of a creative playmaker. So he's got the dribbling, ball control, tight possession, and low pass all past the 80 mark, which is phenomenal, really. Now, he does have, actually, a new, a new skill called Fortress. But it's not a new skill. We've also given him true passing and aerial superiority. Um, Fortress is a very, very interesting one, right? So I'm going to show you what Fortress actually is here. I think I have a graphic of it. So that's what Fortress is. It says that Fortress player skill improves the player's defensive abilities after the first half, as long as the team has a goal advantage. So very, very simply to translate that, right, and make it as uncomplicated as possible you will get a boost to the player's defensive abilities, uh, to Zakaria's abilities, if he has a goal lead going in. So if you're 1-0 up or 2-1 up or 3-2 up or 4-0 up or 5-0 up, going into the second half. After the halftime break, you come back out from 45 minutes on. If you are in the lead with your team, Zakaria is going to get a boost to his defensive capabilities. So that's just kind of what Fortress is there. Let's show you the build, right? And as I said, these were the players that were beasting for me. If you want to see all the gameplay, you can watch the seven-hour stream from yesterday or the six-hour stream from yesterday. Um, phenomenal player, really, really good, has got that Fortress player skill. But if you have right card, I don't know if he's worth it. That's the only thing I would say to you. Or if you've got an anchorman that is sitting in a double pivot, we'll show you that in a sec, but I don't think you really need a meter unless you really want him. But he is a beast. 0 5 4 11 9 5 12 into defending, okay? Now, I want to show you a little quick comparison between my favorite anchorman in the game, which is Rykard. The one weakness Zakaria has that Rykard doesn't have, Zakaria, Zakaria is not that good in the air. You can see here that he's got 77 heading compared to 82 at Rykard. And also the fact that um, he's got the jumping, which is 74 compared to 81, right? So you definitely do need to give him aerial superiority. Reichardt has that as well here. And also I think you need to give him true passing or weighted pass because he does have every other skill that you could possibly want. And of course, it's always going to be nice if you've got a lead going into the second half with Fortress, right? But again, Zakaria, that's the build. That's how I would show you where he is. And that's how I would kind of explain him, right? Next up, we have Donnarumma. Not going to spend too much time on Donnarumma. Goalkeepers at the moment, lads, need a big overhaul. The goalkeepers can pull off some amazing saves or they can parry it straight out to your opponent and they'll score a goal and just absolutely like drive you mad. 93 awareness, 96 reflexes, and 85 jumping or around that. Even though he's a tall goalkeeper, you might as well get to jumping up to 85 because the rest of the stats don't really matter too much. His reach at 91 is big, and he obviously compares with the big-time Schmeichel, Czech, Oliver Kahn, Neuer, any of those cards, right? He's got every player skill that you could possibly want, but he doesn't have any special showtime skill. He doesn't have, you know, showtime saves or long range saves or anything like that. He doesn't have a skill, which means that they probably don't really focus too much on the goalkeepers. Player progression, all we're going to do is 2 into aerial, 12 into goalkeeper 1, 8 into goalkeeper 2, and then 10 into goalkeeper 3. Now, this is how he compares to another version of Donnarumma. So if you've got another version of Donnarumma, it's just really like you're moving pieces around the chessboard. That's all you're doing, man. You're moving the same pieces around the chessboard. This is not going to be a case of, oh, this new Donnarumma is going to put me on a 20 win streak or he's going to save shots at the other Donnarumma can't. They have the same player ID, they have the same physique, they have the same play style, they have the same everything. So I do think that Donnarumma is probably the weakest pack selection in this. It's all about Mbappe and it's all about Sakaria. And I would even give Sakaria the edge there a little bit. Right, so last but not least, we have Kylian Mbappe. His last ever card for, of course, PSG because he will be moving to Real Madrid after the Euros. 
unbelievable card lads honestly i think this is the best build for him um i'm not trying to blow that up or whatever but honestly 90 tight possession 90 finish and 90 balance 80 98 speed 99 acceleration 88 kick and power and also you've got the tight possession at 90 which is perfect 93 attack and awareness 92 ball control and 95 dribbling now we will definitely want to give him one touch pass we don't have one touch pass yet let me know in the comments below boys how hard is it to get one touch pass man Honestly, how hard is it to get one-touch pass? It's impossible with the legacy transfer to do that method. I haven't got one-touch pass in about eight months, I'd say. Six, seven months, definitely. But he has got really nice skills, and he also does have phenomenal finishing. So this is what phenomenal finishing is here. Increases the power and accuracy of finish shots, finishing shots from an orthodox body position. Now, I played about 10 games, lads, with Mbappe, okay? Well, I'll check how many games I played, so I'm not a liar. I played, oh, I've only played five games with him. Five games with him, right? Two goals, three assists. But honestly, he missed a couple of really bad chances. I'll probably try and post them up in a separate video. I'm really torn on phenomenal finishing. I don't think that this Mbappe really excels compared to the free version of Mbappe that we were given a while back. Um, I think that the free version of Mbappe is going to be more than enough for most people. This is the free version here. They're both goal poachers. Obviously, you've 103 versus 99. Same play style, same body, body uh, type, same everything, right? But the, the abilities between them are not that much. Like, you've got minus two here for his attacking awareness, but plus one ball control and plus three dribbling, plus one tight possession, same finishing. Um, curl is around the same. Speed is around the same. Acceleration is around the same. Balance is 90 each. Stamina is a little bit better on the new card. Kicking power is a lot better. That boosts up probably him by about three overall. It's, yeah, it's, it's, a, strange, it's a strange kind of card, right? It's a strange Mbappe card because they've got identical skills apart from, of course, the phenomenal finishing. Um... Yeah, I do feel, honestly, boys, I do feel like this, like the old, uh, the free Mbappe is really, really solid if you do have him. But honestly, Mbappe is Mbappe, man. He will score lots of goals for you. I just don't think he's suited up by himself. He needs somebody as a bit of a ploy to play off, like a target man, like Collar or whatever, or Dennis Law or Shevchenko, kind of an all-rounder. Um, I don't think that he can take the fight across everything because he can header the ball. The headers in the game are completely busted. Um, but yeah, he is a really, really good card. And as I said, this is the build that we went for. 4, 4, 10, 9, 11, and then that's it. So 4, 4, 10, 9, 11 into lower body, 9 into dexterity, 10 into dribbling, and 4 into passing and shooting. You could even get away with not putting anything into passing, to be honest with you, and have his passing at like 75, 74. Um, because, you know, once you have one touch passing him, that's all you need. And you could boost up his kicking power to 90. Or, of course, you could boost up his attack and awareness one or two more as well. It's a really, really good card. But is it worth going deep for? If you have free versions of these cards, they're going to be 90% like the same so um you know be smart with it i suppose but that is the training guide for all of those cards i would definitely 100 play zakaria in a double pivot i don't think he can handle playing by himself like reichardt he doesn't operate and cover that ground as much even though their stats are pretty much identical they're similar players reichardt just has that bit about him that he can mix it in the air and on the ground and he's super 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 uh long as well in midfield zakaria does have a lot of those animations but i definitely think he excels with somebody else doing the the work beside him like kante makalele davids or somebody like that or nedvid or somebody like that but yeah that is it for me boys let me know what you guys think don't forget to subscribe and we'll be back very very soon with another video peace